Hey fam, today we are going to talk about Microsoft Edge Chromium and there are some noticeable change recently in the Microsoft Edge. Fam, in my previous video I have shown you some of the features. If you didn't watch it, please go to my channel and you will find there a Microsoft Edge playlist and watch there. So let's jump into the video first and my favorite feature is to ability to do this okay this is the microsoft edge and i have opened the youtube here and uh, i just right click on this video okay so i have opened this video and uh, you can see that the video is currently playing now i just want to open some another tab okay i come down and i open another tab and now i want to watch this video and i want to mute the previous tab so you can directly do it from here and this is really cool feature and you can increase and decrease the volume from here to go here and just increase and decrease the value. Now let's quickly see if this feature is present in Google Chrome or not. So I open a Google Chrome, I open one of my previous video and then I can go to another tab. So now I go and I want to watch something with another video and now I want to mute that particular tab. So I cannot mute it. Can you see here? I cannot, I don't have the option either. I have to just right click on the tab and I have to mute site like this. And the second feature is let's go to the Microsoft Edge again and find something on the bank. And then you can see here if I just hover on the video, so it will start playing. Can you see here? This is really cool feature from the Microsoft. Even if I unmute this volume, so you can see here it is playing the video directly if i go here and i just do that thing so it is the video is playing and this feature is thing in google chrome so let's go quickly and see if there is feature present over there or not so i just go to the google and uh, find some videos so i type the microsoft edge and uh, i have find some videos here so you can see here it is just previewing i, I don't have the options to you know mute or unmute this video so if I want to see this video, I have to go inside this video. So in that way, you have to open another tab so like this. Okay. Now, some of the user might have opened so many tabs on their browser and I am one of them. But don't worry, guys, Microsoft comes up with a great solution for us. Now, let's quickly go again to the YouTube. If I'm watching this video and I just want to watch it later, I just open this collection tab and right click on this video add to the collection so it is asking for a start new collection yes so you can see here the video is coming here now going down i just want to do that again so it is asking okay the collection name is july 18 2020 yes so it will come down here so similarly you can add so many videos on this particular collections go again to the youtube and uh, i'm looking for this video and uh, i just want this video to be uh, add in the new tab so i just do start new collection and it is asking okay add the current page i said yes so it is add the current page that's perfect so now again just to see how it works i just right click on this video and add to the collection now it is asking okay you want to add it in the new collection or in the july 18 i said okay new collection so you can see there the video is present here now the third feature is so if i open the twitter and i just click on this three dots and you can find this option here app and it will asking you directly install twitter and it asks you install that's perfect i mean you can see here in your taskbar it is present the twitter is installed in your system you can open it from here and just start using it twitter so this is really cool feature right which is missing in the google chrome and this is the latest version i'm using so if i just go here and if i want to show you about google chrome so this is the latest version i'm using of the google chrome which is updated a day before yesterday let's go again and see over the final feature suppose if i have opened so many tabs now there is an option called browse task manager so you have to press shift and escape and the browser task manager will open and you can see the tab which you have opened here so you can directly do it the end process here so this tab is not closed it just stopped working so this is really cool feature you know it is useful to understand if there is sudden spike in your ram so this feature will be very helpful to understand what is going on thank you for watching my video if you like please subscribe my channel updates every